Today we're going to talk about flow rights. Um, we're going to use the Windows Paint program. If you don't have paint available, there's many online options. You can also write the, your homework on a piece of paper and uh, scan it and upload it. If you have any questions, please contact your instructor. So we're going to look at finding the flow rate for orders to be administered by an infusion pump. So our problem is 500 milliliters L R I V every eight hours. So we're going to use a formula, and the formula we're going to use is F equals V over T. And F is going to be our flow rate, V is our volume, and T is our time. So first thing that we want to do in here is to find our values. So we're solving for our flow rate, so that's our variable. Our volume is right here, your 500 milliliters. Your time is every eight hours. So let's put our formula together. So we have F equals 500 milliliters over eight hours. So you're gonna wanna take the 500 divided by eight, you can put that in a calculator, and you're gonna get 62.5 milliliters per hour. Make sure you don't lose your units here, your milliliters and your hours. And of course this is going to be rounded. And remember when you round anything that's 0.5 and up higher gets rounded up. Anything that's less than 0.5 gets rounded down. So it's going to be 63 milliliters per hour. So now we're going to look at a little bit different kind of a problem. We're going to find the flow rate rounded to the nearest drip per minute. So we're going to have 300 milliliters IV in S every 8 hours. And then here's your tubing. You're going to have 10 GTT per ml tubing. Now remember I want my answer to be in drops per minute, so that's important. We're going to talk about that here in just a minute. So you're going to use your formula of F, which is your flow rate, equals C, that's your calibration tubing, times the quantity of your volume divided by time. So let's go ahead and define these. Our C is the 10 GTT per ml. Our volume is the 300 milliliters. And our time is every eight hours, but we need to convert that to minutes. So eight hours times 60 minutes would be 480 minutes. So let's go ahead and plug in our for formula. We'll have F equals 10 GTT per ml times 300 milliliters over 480 minutes. Now you have milliliters on the bottom on this side and milliliters on the top on this side, so they're going to cancel each other out. So let me rewrite that. You're going to have 10 GTT times 300 over 480 minutes. So you're just going to pop, put this into a calculator. So you're going to get 10 GTT times 0.6. I know that looks weird, but trust me, it's fine. So your answer is going to be 6 GTT per
per minute. Okay, so let's look at another type of flow rate here. We're going to determine an original flow rate and then we're going to adjust, determine an adjusted flow rate. Ordered a thousand milliliters D5W over nine hours. And here's your tubing. 15 GTT per ml. Okay, so we have our tubing, which is 15 GTT per ml. We have our volume, which is a thousand milliliters. We have our time, which is nine hours. Remember, for this, you need to convert this to minutes. So this is going to be 540 minutes. So your equation is 15 GTT over ML times 1,000 milliliters over 540 minutes. And just like the previous problem that we did, your milliliters is going to cancel out. You'll multiply across and round and you'll get 28 GTT per minute. Now let's look at the second half of this. After three hours, two hundred milliliters has infused. So you need to look at a couple things here. This is after three hours 200 milliliters has infused. That means 200 milliliters is gone. So you're going to want to take your volume and adjust it. So you're going to have a thousand milliliters is what you started with. After two hours, 200 milliliters is gone. So you're going to have 800 milliliters now. And your time started with nine hours, but you're going to subtract the three hours. So you now have six hours, which is 360 minutes. Now you're going to do the same exact equation that you did over here with your new variables. And your answer you should come up with should be different than 28 GTT per minute because you've had to adjust your volume and you've had to adjust your time. Okay, so now let's look at total time to infuse. So we have ordered a thousand milliliters Okay, we're here we're looking at time, total time to infuse. Before we used our flow equals our volume divided by time, we're using the same formula. We're just solving for a different variable. So we're going to have time equals volume divided by flow. So our volume here is a thousand milliliters divided by our flow, which is 125 milliliters per hour. So I'm going to write that a little bit different so it's easier to work with. We'll have a thousand milliliters over one divided by 125 milliliters over one hour. And when you divide fractions you multiply the reciprocals so we're going to have a thousand milliliters over one times one hour over 125 milliliters and since you have milliliters on the bottom on the right and milliliters on the top on the left, they cancel each other out. So you're now going to have a thousand hours divided by 125. And when you plug that into a calculator, you will get eight hours. Now I'm going to look at this just a little bit differently. If I asked you to tell me what time I finished, if this patient started at 1 p.m., so let's just say they started at 1 p.m., and it took eight hours, you would just add the 1 p.m. plus eight hours, 
and you would get 9 p.m. So they would be done at 9 p.m.